Hi folks, I'm Dane Harden with Western Masters Martial Arts here in Abingdon, Virginia. If you want to find us online, you can go to westernmasters.net and you can look us up and read bios and instructor information and information about our classes. Today's story is a story of a martial arts practitioner, an Aikidoist, an early practitioner from the West. His name was Terry Dobson. And Terry had gone to Japan in the very early times and he was a big guy. He was like a football player sized guy, 6'2", 6'3", a couple hundred pounds, really strong. And he had the very unique Western experience of training directly from Mori Ayueshiba, uh, the older gentleman over my left shoulder. The gentleman over my right shoulder is my uh, Taekwondo instructor, Jun Ri. The gentleman over my left is Yueshiba Sensei, or O Sensei, a great teacher. He's the founder of Aikido. So Dobson goes to Japan, he meets O Sensei, he trains there for years and years, and really begins to develop a solid skill set in his mind. He's thinking, you know, I'm really pretty good. I've managed to get my Shodan black belt. I'm training directly from the founder himself. And he's confident in his skills. So, you know, he's thinking to himself, you know, maybe it's time to think about going back home, going uh, back to the United States and teaching some Aikido there and maybe spreading Aikido around the world. As he's thinking about this, one day he just happens to be on a train and he's traveling from Tokyo back to Iwama, which is where the main dojo was at that in those days. And while he's on the train, he kind of notices this guy, and this guy looks pretty sketchy. He looks like uh, maybe somebody who had been a soldier. He's pretty rough looking, pretty dirty, uh, this kind of scarred up, mean looking guy. And the other thing is he's clearly been drinking. The guy's kind of loud, he's kind of boisterous, uh, he's making some vulgar remarks, things on that line, which in Japan, uh, to be impolite is just the height of, of, of bad activity. Um, and uh, Terry looks and he sees this uh, handsome older couple, a little gentleman, he's maybe four feet 11 inches tall, 100 pounds, a standard kind of a smaller sized Japanese gentleman of that era. And he's with his wife. And they just look like a kindly old couple and they're there, they have their lunch. And they, you know, they have a little sake and they have their lunch and whatnot. And the, the big mean guy starts looking at him. He walks over and goes, what do you have there? And he's raising heck and cussing at people and going around and talking stuff. And he starts to pick on the older couple. Well, as he's picking on the older couple, Terry thinks to himself, huh, this is my chance. This is my chance to see if this Aikido stuff works. This is my chance to apply my skills. I've been waiting for this for years. And finally, I have my chance. And in that moment, the little gentleman totally, totally takes Terry Dobson aback. Terry's watching this story unfold before his eyes. And the little gentleman's looking up at this great, big, powerful, muscular, drunken, kind of a scary looking street guy. And he says, oh, oh, are you hungry? Would you like some of our food? And the guy says, well, Yes, I would like some of your food. He reaches over and he grabs some of their food and he starts eating it. And the little gentleman says, well, here, sit down, sit between my wife and I, and let me offer you some of my sake. We have, you have sake? Yes, we have sake. And he offers him some sake. And the man begins to drink and he begins to eat. And the little man is sitting there and his wife is sitting there and they're just calm as they can be. And this very much disarms the gentleman. The guy that's just so mean and angry starts to at the old guy he goes why are you being so nice to me i've been cussing at you and making slurs to your wife and here you're sharing your what are you some kind of wimp you're giving me your food you're giving me your sake what's what's the matter with you and with that the old man said well you remind us of our son our son he he passed away long ago and you seem troubled and but what's wrong is is there something wrong is there something we can help you with do you need money and the old man is so kind that the street thug starts to break down. And Terry Dobson, who just a moment ago was ready to go and grab this street thug by the arm and break his arm with his newly found Aikido skills, sees the old man disarm this big thug with kindness, with kind words, with charity, with sharing his food, sharing his sake. And eventually he shares his burden. The man tells him of his wife who died, of his children, who died of his eldest son who was killed in the war and of how he couldn't find a job and how he's just gone downhill since his wife passed. This is such a sad story. 
And you realize when you think about the parable that is the Terry Dobson story, Terry was ready to fight this gentleman because he was loud and arrogant and boisterous and mean, mean-spirited. We have people like that in our lives. We need to take the time to understand how they got that way. We need to take the charitable approach to understand how could we help them. This is Aikido. Aikido as a martial art is a way of peace. It has a very strong philosophical nature to it, wherein we are taught not just self-defense skills, not just this idea of might for right, but of might for peace. And might for peace, especially in today's age and in this world, I think is a very proper way to go. That's your story for this evening, the Terry Dobson story. The story ends with Terry going to the next train station, getting off, jumping back on the other train that was southbound, and he went right back to Iwama and continued to train with Osensei for several more years because he realized at that moment that he really didn't understand the whole purpose of Aikido. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy New Year, everyone.